Michelle from the Salty Spirit. We are going to learn how to paint a little beach scene on these um, ceramic resin sand dollars. These sand dollars will be available for purchase. Uh, just look in the description. And this is for, for people who don't know how to paint because I don't know how to paint, but I'm gonna show you how to paint this really pretty beach scene. It's not so bad, right? So follow along, let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start with, and again, for this particular project, it is with this sand dollar. Uh, of course, you can use any surface that you want. Um, so this is the way it's going to go because this is where the jute twine is going to go through. So bottom, top. So I start with, actually, you know what? I'm gonna start with my thinner brush because I'm gonna do a thin blue line wherever you want the sky and the water to meet. So, actually it's just gonna be the water and the sand. You can do sky, but we ain't doing it in this project. So there you go, it's about center. Uh, again, it's up to you. Okay, now I'm gonna get my bigger brush and first, I'm going to just do a clean sweep of whatever blue that you do. You can make it nice and rich because it's just the base. Okay, then what I'm gonna do, even before it dries, definitely before it dries, is I'm gonna dab a little white because when you're looking out to the ocean, it always is darker further out and lighter closer up. So I am going to create a little bit of light towards the shoreline. Just kind of blend it. A little bit more. I just leave the darker up top. Okay. <clears throat> then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put even more white towards the front or towards the shoreline, I should say. And you're not doing straight lines, you're just kind of dabbing, dabbing, dabbing. Okay. And then for the waves, or for where the water breaks, dab, 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 dab. Okay. Again, this is not an advanced <laughs> art course. Okay, a little bit more white, just, just picture it in your head, right? <clears throat> okay, so now you are going to let that dry. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is the sand, and then after the sand dries, um, you can start playing more with the waves, um, the water breaking effect but right here i'm just going to apply the sand color and you know when this is all done as far as the painting um like i said you can always make little finishing touches but what i also like to do is then glue little things on it like little seashells little starfish it's just it's such a good surface to do that this really is such a cute project, and this sand dollar is just the perfect size for an ornament, just to sit on your bathroom shelf or what, whatever. Um, and it is really chunky and sturdy. Okay, so 
let that dry, apply a second coat. Okay, so there's two coats on this. So now, um, with a shoreline, it's never just straight across. So I'm just gonna start to um, <clears throat> put more white than blue, but just a little dab of blue and white. <clears throat> I'm gonna sort of starting, I'm gonna sort of start to go off of that straight line. Okay, and then always kind of ending in that white because it's always white when the water comes up, right? You can always go back and blend a little bit more. I'm gonna actually put a little bit more white now over here. Okay, and more white there. So it's more just dabbing, dabbing, dabbing. I do not know how to shade. <laughs> I'm not that good in blending. This is for us peeps who don't know how to paint. Um, but, you know, you can do a little something. You can try and it can still kind of look pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to stop there and that, let that dry. Okay, so now we are going to put a layer of Mod Podge. This is um, glossy. You could use matte as well, but I'm going to use glossy, and it is going to just give it that little bit of a shine, and it will seal it as well so that it doesn't, um, you know, so that the paint doesn't chip and fade and all that. So just quickly cover with one coat or two, doesn't matter. It's going to look like it's white, but it dries clear. Okay, so now I'm going to take a little bit more of Mod Podge, which is glue, and I'm going to add some embellishments. I have these little, little mini seashells here, which I'll have a link for that to purchase if you want. Um, and I have really, really tiny, tiny starfish you can't really see. I'll show you closer up later. Um, so I just put a glob of the Mod Podge on there right where I want to glue those little things on and it's kind of hard to this the way my camera pod is set it's kind of hard for me to get in there so I'm going to do it left-handed um, just put a couple of shells there you're the artist these little blue starfish is, are were just actually part of these hair clips I had that I did not like but I broke them apart because I thought they were really cute the starfish so those I'm going to add in these teeny tiny little resin starfish, which I also have for sale in my shop. I will put that link as well. You can use anything you have. Okay, so now everything is dried. See that nice little gloss, little sheen? So pretty. And then everything is dried down here too. You can see it a little bit closer now. It was hard to see when I was putting them on. Um, like that and these were put on just like I had showed you with the Mod Podge which is glue sometimes it's not always so strong so it's probably a good idea just um, when the Mod Podge covering is dry to just put a little extra glue of something I, I use e6000 you can even use crazy glue whatever works for you okay and now I'm going to show you how to put the twine on. Okay, so I actually ended up making another one because I wanted to show you two different orientations. So um, this is the one that we did together and obviously just simply 
tying a, the jute twine at the top, at the top hole, um, like so. Uh, you can make it any length that you want. This one I did the other way, and I actually really like the way it looks tied this way. So I'm going to show you. I just thread it through the side hole, and I knot it. And you always have to knot it. You can't just tie it. It will unravel. So this piece of jute twine, I think I cut maybe around 14, 15 inches. It's always better to do longer. So you can always snip away at the end. Um, so you tie it one side and then kind of size it to see how long you want it to hang. Um, and then tie the other side. I don't know. It's just, as always, personal preference. But I, I like the way this tie design looks. Um, tie that there. Knot it. Get in there, good, okay. And then, voila. And then, of course, you can always just snip off the extra little ends. But I, I like the way that hangs like that. Um, and it just also gives the picture a little bit of a different look. You have more of the water there without the holes up top. So, your choice. But there you go. There is our project. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, leave me a comment or um, sub hit subscribe and thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll see you next time.